Dow futures looking down quite a bit this morning. Mike Lomas joining us with the financial guys to take a look at what is causing kind of a tumultuous couple of weeks on the market, Mike. And we uh, keep hearing about the coronavirus and concerns, how they're playing a factor. What are you seeing? Well, I think that's what we're looking at this morning. I mean, you're looking at U.S. stock market futures down about 800 points as the spread of the coronavirus is raising worries that the you know global economic growth could be slower than thought. And I think it's really the concern is that, you know, at least in the short term that, you know, we're looking at the coronavirus and, and companies' uh, earnings are, are going to be hit a little more severe than actually originally thought. So, uh, you know, to me, I think you got to ask yourself as an investor, do you think the coronavirus is going to hurt earnings two years from now, five years from now? And if the answer is no, then I think you're a buyer. I think Warren Buffett was out yesterday saying he would be a buyer if we saw a dip from the coronavirus. And I think we're thinking the same way. I don't think you go all in, but I think you rebalance and you make subtle adjustments to try to take advantage of the volatility. You know, Mike, other people are saying, how is coronavirus affecting the markets? Well, I I think, you know, the markets always are going to react to certainty and uncertainty. And when you have uncertainty, really, how big is the coronavirus? How many people? You're looking at a death toll of over 2,500 people. So, you know, to answer your question, what is it going to do to the market in the long term? I think very little. But I think in the short term, it adds an element of uncertainty. And I I think the market was a little bit fragile to begin with. We had prices, you know, we we had a pretty nice run up last year in the stock market where we had prices going up. But earnings not following suit, meaning that earnings are good, they're beating expectations, but they're beating a reduced level of expectations. So I think at some point we were waiting for some kind of a correction in the market. To me, though, I don't think this is a a, a panic, meaning a, a, a 50% correction in the market. I think we, you know, we might be looking at a 5 or a 10% correction, and I think you're going to see you know, the buyers come back and the institutions start to rebalance and take advantage of things. The interest rates are so low. There's not a lot of alternatives outside of the stock market when it comes to long-term growth. You know, there are a lot of people, too, looking at uh, coronavirus concerns and seeing some opportunity there. I was hearing last week, whether it's uh, video conferencing or even Clorox wipes or something like that, that, uh, you know, there is opportunity where a lot of stocks are maybe trending uh, one way. Uh, Certain things could be, at least in the short term, going the opposite. Uh, Yeah, it's funny. We've been saying that for a while. It's, It's a stock picker's market right now where you've got to look at opportunities that are out there that you might be able to take advantage of something like that. Who's going to benefit from the coronavirus? The other thing is there's still a lot of stocks out there that are relatively cheap, meaning the price is cheap relative to their earnings. You just got to go out and find them. You know, it's not the kind of market where you're going to buy an overall index and that overall index is going to go up. It's definitely becoming a stock picker's market. I think you're going to see that uh, theme play out throughout 2020 for sure. Mike, thanks for the update. Uh, Mike Lomas from the Financial Guys joining us live.